morning everybody so it is now Monday we finally if you watch the weekend vlog you saw that we didn't really get very much sleep because Charlie was up a lot so last night she actually slept from 7 to 7 I don't think she woke up till 7 o'clock this morning so she got up a couple times in there and I wake up like every hour or two just because I'm getting really big pregnant but um, she didn't actually require us to go get her. She kind of just like resituated herself. So I was like sitting at her monitor, like praying and begging that she would get comfortable and go back to sleep so that I wouldn't have to go down there and rock her. Um, and it worked. So anyways, it is Monday though. Um, I got myself all ready and put together uh, for the day. Um, and I kind of wanted to give a little bit of a I haven't done very much like pregnancy um, related updates on the channel so um, I am almost 27 weeks pregnant and just massive I'll try to find a picture to like put over here somewhere comparing when I was 27 weeks with Charlie but this one just feels so much bigger and I did eat a bagel this morning for breakfast so I feel like um, that after I eat my belly just looks ginormous but um, I just feel like this time around I'm just oh my gosh this looks terrible it also just may be might be what I'm wearing but it just looks it, I just feel huge right now and I've been chugging water too sounds like I just have a lot of excuses as to why I'm humongous, but I'm almost in my third trimester of pregnancy, so what do you expect? But I got, I'm uploading the vlog, so that will be up by the time that you guys see this, and I'm just trying to, I don't feel the greatest, um, so I was just going to kind of like recap on um my like how i'm doing but um so my first trimester of pregnancy was similar to charlie's but um there were definitely some differences um i was i had morning sickness up until i was i started at probably five weeks or four or five weeks which is how i knew i was pregnant um and then it didn't end until 20 weeks with this pregnancy, whereas Charlie, it ended around like 16 weeks. And she's napping right now, by the way. Um, it is like 10, 15 right now. I laid her down at nine, so she's taking a really good nap. Um, but we'll try to be speedy because I don't know how much longer she'll nap. Uh, so, but the sickness was different this time with Charlie. It started... The first couple months were um, like actually getting sick and I couldn't hardly keep anything down um, besides like chicken broth um, and I would just like nibble on food. And with this one, like from the beginning, from the time I found out, um, I'm, I was mostly sick when I had an empty stomach. So I just had to constantly eat. Um, and there were times that... I think there was only a couple times that I even got sick. Um, now I can't remember exactly when it was. I think I was eight to ten weeks along, and I finally actually I was I was nine and a half weeks. I was almost ten weeks pregnant, and I had to call my doctor's office and they put me on Zofran because. There was like a 24 hour period of time that I actually had to have like my mom and stepdad over um, because I could not keep any like liquids, food, water, like I couldn't keep anything down. I was just constantly sick that day. And so they put me on Zofran and I took that probably just like morning and night um, and that helped a lot. Um, I could actually like start keeping stuff down again but it was still the same I was still nauseous pretty much every day if I had an empty stomach so this pregnancy I've been eating a ton more I feel like but the cravings have been the same um, the first trimester I really just wanted 
Like I crave veggies for some reason. With Charlie's pregnancy, I got Subway and Jimmy John's like veggie subs like almost every day. It was crazy. And this pregnancy, I've been craving about the same thing. Um, a lot of salads, uh, which is good, but I also crave a lot of dessert and sugar and cereal for some reason. Like I could eat a bowl of cereal every meal. Um, which I craved a lot of milk too with Charlie. So, <clears throat> um, so that didn't go away until I was about 20 weeks. Um, and then it wasn't, I know the second trimester starts like 13, 14 weeks, but my energy really didn't start, uh, coming back until after I was sick. So it was probably around 20, 21 weeks until my energy came back. Um, and then in from like 21 till now, like 27 weeks, um, I felt pretty good, but I've had some other like funky symptoms um, that I thought was like blood pressure related. Um, I'll get like super lightheaded if I don't eat every, like a snack every few hours. Um, and so I do have to make sure that I do that. Um, and like sciatic pain, um, I didn't really deal with that a lot till the very end with Charlie and I've already been dealing with that only when I'm like standing for a long period of time or if I go on a longer walk. So, um, on the vlog that you guys saw that we went to Silver Dollar City and Branson that one weekend, that was probably five, six hours of walking that day. And that evening I had a lot of like shooting pain from my low back and hip area down my legs. And that was pretty painful. So, but when I just go on like short walks, like around the neighborhood that are around a mile, um, I don't really feel that pain, but I do have low back pain. Um, <clears throat> and I'll get like little bouts of nausea if, like I said, if my stomach is empty and, um, sorry, I need to work on stop saying um so much. Uh, if my stomach gets empty, uh, I'll just get like no energy and I will get a little bit nauseous and I've noticed that mostly in the evening time. So I've been trying to eat an afternoon snack, uh, to try or take a nap. Like honestly, that has really, really helped this morning nap that she takes. I'm normally pretty busy. Um, but the afternoon nap when she goes down around like 1 30 or 2 ish, sometimes that nap is an hour, but sometimes it's two hours and I will take advantage of that time. And I will, even if I don't nap, I'll just, just lay down and do nothing for that time. And then I'm super energized for the rest of the evening. So that really helps. Um, but going into the third trimester, uh, I think that the one big thing that I'm going to try to change this pregnancy is to try to get back in shape, um, which I know sounds silly because I'm already big pregnant and I only have one trimester left, but I really want to, I've already noticed myself like kind of like in my face and my body, obviously you gain weight while you're pregnant, but I want to try to just get in good shape. The weather's going to start getting nicer towards the end of this pregnancy. Uh, we're in January, but so we're, I guess, January, February, we're still going to have a lot of days that snow and stuff, but I'm going to try to do um, an Orange Theory class once a week, uh, twice if I can, and just start incorporating more walks into my day-to-day. -day. And then I also have a little area in our basement, like kind of by uh, Charlie's play area. And I have just some lighter dumbbells and a little like bench station. And I can do modified workouts in my basement too. And then just eating healthy. I really want, like, I really do feel better and I don't have to eat junk food to not be nauseous. Um, I mean, I still crave salads so I can keep eating those. And I think I just need to lower my portions. Cause I'm also noticing that I'm just getting full, a, like fuller, a lot faster at meals. And then I tend to overeat because I think that I can still eat 
the regular portion that I was eating like in my first and second trimester. So anyways, I just want to start working out more and um, eating healthier, making healthier choices, um, like limiting my uh, snacks, like my desserts <laughs> throughout the week. And um, also just kind of lowering my portion size a little bit so that I'm more like snacking throughout the day and not having snacks and like three regular size meals because I just can't, I can't fit it in my stomach anymore. So my stomach feels like it's like up to my heart right now. And I still have like 12 weeks to go. So, or 13 weeks, 12, 13 weeks. <clears throat> um, and then another update with my first pregnancy with Charlie, I was induced at 37 weeks because I had uh, what they call ICP. It's like cholestasis of pregnancy, which is a, uh, like a liver function disease that's only pertains to pregnancy. And you basically your body overproduces like the bile acids. Um, I have read about it so many times, but there's many articles on it and it's a little bit confusing, but basically that overproduction of bile like spills out into your blood system. And then what it does is that pools in your hands and your feet, um, like your extremities, and it makes you extremely itchy but it's like an itch that like you can't get to because it's literally like your blood and your veins that are itchy. Um, so no like Benadryl creams, like nothing helps cause you can't get to the itch. And so you just itch constantly. Um, that's how I knew that I had it with Charlie and my doctor took it very seriously induced early, um, because there's a higher chance of stillbirth with ICP. Um, I think ICP stands for something else too. So cholestasis is what I'm going to call it. Cholestasis of pregnancy. Um, so, but I did not find out until I was about 33, 34 weeks is when the itching started. And so I don't know. I have a higher chance of having it again since I er have already had it. So we're just kind of like waiting. I pray that I don't, but we're just kind of waiting around as I get more just closer to the end of the third trimester just to see if I start showing symptoms, then I will be induced in March. Um, my doctor won't mess around with the risk factors of it. Um, and if I don't, then I'll just travel on to the <laughs> first week of April and then he will arrive on time. So we will see, but I just wanted to do that pregnancy update. I really haven't talked about like symptoms or what's been going on um, at all on my channel. So I wanted to do that update um, today. Uh, when she gets up from her nap, I think it's just gonna be kind of a chill day. I'm gonna get this uh, weekend vlog uploaded and then I do need to uh, go to Hobby Lobby to pick up some things for Remy's room because really all we have left now is hanging stuff on the wall. So, but there's like a rug and stuff that I want to get. And Jojo, my little sister that you guys have seen on here many times might come over today. I'm not sure. Um, and then my Walmart grocery pickup is scheduled around one o'clock today. So I'll have to pick that up. And then I'll show you guys, I have a girls night tonight. Um, <clears throat> and we're just starting the bachelor, uh, and just going to do kind of a fun, I don't know. I've only watched like a few episodes of one season of that show. And I think they're on season, I don't know, like 25 or something, but I don't know how like into it I'll get, but we're just going to have like a little fun, like watch party at one of my friend's house on Monday nights and watch the show and probably just make fun of it, honestly, and eat a bunch of junk food and just kind of, um, I don't know, just have some girl time without, without the babies. And I will just do this as long as the weather is good because she lives about 20 to 30 minutes away. Um, so I'll make it on Monday nights as long as the weather's good. And as long as I feel okay, cause um, I assume it's going to go on for the next few months. Um, and towards the end of my pregnancy, I probably just won't be driving out there, but 
Oh, little one's awake. That was perfect timing. So, but I am in charge tonight of bringing um, some, I'm probably gonna bring milk. I need to go by the store, probably. Um, but I'm making this cinnamon roll cake. It's like a, I don't know, like a cinnamon roll casserole cake. Um, I've made it for breakfast before, but it is definitely a dessert. Um, but I'll show you guys how I make that. It is delicious if you like cake or coffee cake type things, cinnamon rolls, you will absolutely love this. So we will get on with the rest of the day. We need to go potty. Go potty. Hi. Hi, pretty girl. Oh my goodness, what happened to your hair? Pretty. What? Pretty. Oh, is that pretty? Pretty. What is it? Pretty. Oh, it's not a dress. It's not a dress. Yes. You're so cute, though. <laughs> what do you want to wear today? Huh? You want to wear a dress? A okay. Let's see. What do you want to wear? Yay! Dress? It's kind of yeah. chilly for a dress, honey. No. No. Here, let's wear this dress. You want to wear your troll's dress? No, no. Oh, look. <gasps> look at that. Honey, we can't wear your Anna dress. Do you want to wear your troll's dress? That's so pretty. Is it so pretty? Want to hold it? Oh, so pretty. Yeah. We'll wear that one, okay? Okay, let's get ready. Hey, let mommy see your pretty outfit. Can you show me your pretty dress? Oh, look at that pretty girl. And your light up shoes. Yeah. You like your dress? Dress. Where are you going? Pretty girl. Oh, you're going in Remy's room? Hey, mommy's gonna start lunch. You wanna go play and eat your animal crackers? Good girl. Ooh. What do you say? You say thank you? Good girl, baby. Do you want to watch some word party? Turn on something educational. So yummy. Yum. Well, your TV's not working, so daddy's going to have to figure that out. All right. Will you play and eat your crackers, okay? That's yummy. Say, mmm. Mmm. Mm. Okay, mommy's gonna fix lunch. Mommy's making chicken. the dogs. Charlie, be nice. Okay, so I'm just making this pesto chicken. So I just got my cream cheese and pesto. I should have left out my cream cheese because it's getting a little hard to mash, but um, I'm just gonna mix that a little bit better. And then I have my chicken um, right here. So I'm just gonna put these in this dish to bake. Um, I'm gonna trim off some of the fat and stuff. And then this literally just like, you just smear a thick layer on top of the chicken and bake it. So that's what I'm working on. Are you being nice to Dutchie? 
Don't touch her paw. Yeah, you pet nice, honey. Are you petting nice? Yeah? You eating your animal crackers? Yeah. Did you eat them all? Where's your bowl at? Can you go get your bowl? You gotta go get your bowl and I'll get you more. Okay, so I have my chicken. And I'll just go salt and pepper it. And I also sprayed some of the avocado oil non-stick on below the chicken as well. But so we'll just salt and pepper it and then add our cream cheese pesto. What are you doing, Charlie? And I don't have exact measurements. I just put, well, I put a half a block. So I think four ounces of cream cheese. And then, I don't know, half of my little jar of pesto. I don't know how much I was supposed to do, but I like a lot of pesto, so. All right, so that's what that looks like. I'm just going to bake this. What is the matter? Are you eating your animal cookies? What do you want? Do you want a drink? Do you want up, up? Okay, so I'm just gonna bake this at 400. And it's not quite there yet, but I'm just gonna bake that at 400. It should take about 20, 25 minutes. Alrighty, so we are gonna go in for, I'm gonna start out with 20 minutes and then see what it needs from there. Are you ready for your chicken? Okay, can you pay? Can you pay? Let's pay. Let's pay. Can you please pay? Dear Lord, thank you for our food. Amen. Good girl. Okay. Do you want to do it? What's the matter? Do you want to do it? You want to do it? Hey. Yum. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. You gotta eat that bite first. Then we can have another one, okay? You like your chicken? You wanna hold the, you wanna hold the fork? Ah, good girl. Good girl. Okay, let mommy get another bite. Thank you. What, honey? What? Why are you so fussy? You want up? <clears throat> okay, so she ate her lunch and I actually could not wait on the chicken. Um, we had two little um, tuna patties from the weekend that I warmed up because I was starting and the chicken, we'll check on yeah. that. Dine. Um I started yeah. <clears throat> feeling very nauseous and yeah. lightheaded, so I just have to eat. Eat when I feel like that. I actually still don't feel good. Here, let's check on the chicken. No. That does not look done, so I'm gonna try five more minutes. Crisis averted with a piece of a cookie. She did eat a good lunch though, so. But anyways, so over the summer whenever I had lost some weight before I found out I was pregnant, what I was doing was low carb and lowering my portions, but I was allowing one cheat meal per week. And I always loved watching this girl on YouTube. Um, I think her channel, where's that? Oh, right there, Always Hungry. 
but she does these um, donut challenges and stuff. And they make me crave donuts so bad right now. I don't even know why I clicked on that video. I could, well, I couldn't eat that many, but she's like eating like 24 donuts right now or something. But um, I haven't watched her videos in months and I just like watching these cheat videos and just getting ideas from people. Charlie, is that just cleaning up your cookie that you threw all over the ground? You can clean it up, Duchess. Goodness gracious. Why'd you throw it on the ground? You had a good nap. Why are you in a bad mood? Is it because you're 18 months old? Is that why? You look very pretty. Are you a pretty girl? <laughs> hey, are you going to help mommy? extra five minutes was perfect. What, honey? You wanna go play? Let's go play. Let's go play. Okay, so it ended up being 30 minutes total. So that is the chicken. And I have veggies to warm up um, that we also had the other night, but we need to get through them because I have a big uh, dish left of them. So I'll wait for Jordan to get here. We have to leave soon to go pick up gr the groceries at Walmart. Um, but I'll leave this here for her to have some lunch. So this is what happens when your Walmart pickup is right by an Andy's. Got myself a delicious concrete. Yes. Have you had a chance to look at your unavailable items? Um, I did not yet. There was just one. Oh, okay. Green cabbage head. They didn't have it. Already. Okay, that's fine. And then there was a substitute that I got. Okay. The body wash. Okay. It's probably fine. Change what kind it is. Okay. I want to make sure you're good. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Did you want certain stuff in your back seat? Uh, no. I just opened both in case you don't have room in the back seat. Okay. So. Okay, so the guy told me that all they had to substitute, so I don't know if you've ever ordered online before, if they can't find 
what you ordered online, they'll substitute it for something very similar. And he told me at first that, that my body wash was the only thing that they substituted. And it was just like a different smell, so I didn't mind that. <clears throat> um, but I looked on my app and they substituted my almond oil, which I hope that it's still a good one, or my, yeah, my, not my almond oil, my avocado oil for cooking. And then they also substituted, I wanted tzatziki dip because I was gonna make this Greek chicken. And I, apparently they were out of it and they gave me spinach artichoke dip. It's like nowhere near the same. And they were out of cabbage, which I actually need tonight for dinner. So I am gonna have to leave the sack alone, honey. I'm gonna have to run by the store really quick. Charlie? Well, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Um, I am just getting her fed and I made some cabbage sausage. Um, it has like potatoes and um, veggies and stuff in it. Um, I made that for dinner. 
And then here's the casserole I'm bringing tonight. So CJ is almost home. I'm gonna get you more, honey. CJ's almost home and we're gonna get this little one to bed in about an hour and then, <laughs> and then I'll head off to my girls' night. So thanks for watching, we'll see you next time, bye. Can you say bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Can you blow them kisses? Mm. 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 Mm.